What's your name? Lonnie Orville Ison. Could you spell that, please? L O N N I E I S O N. Okay. Lonnie Ison. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yes, sir. And where are you originally from? Uh, Marietta, Georgia. Why here? Uh, I like it because of the weather. The weather on up north is real cold at winter. And uh, how long have you been here? I've been here right at two months. And it hasn't been, it hasn't gotten too cold? Uh, a couple of nights I stayed out, it was pretty cold. Uh, where do you all stay when you're staying out? Just anywhere. So what, what do you do? What I do out here, nothing. They won't allow us to panhandle no more. So, so you don't do anything out here now? Not now. I'm going to try to go back for, for the city on a garbage truck. You're going to try to get a job? Yeah, through the temp service. Yeah. Uh huh. But uh, temp you're temporarily unemployed? Yes. So you have actually slept out here? Yes. And is, like, is there a particular place around here that's best for doing that? or? It just all depends on what's going on around. Not here in the park. Park is too open. I have slept in this bench over here on the other side. Yeah. I have slept over there about two nights. Now, do you, do you have to worry about getting ripped off? Yeah, constantly. From who, 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 who's your biggest threat, do you think, from getting ripped off and beat up and stuff like that? Other homeless people. Other homeless people? Yes. Because they think you've got something they want. Right. Exactly. Because, because they see you got clean clothes and they can wear them, they're going to take them. Aha. Uh -huh. What happens when you get sick out here? You're on your own. Yep. If you work through a temp service, you take your money and go buy medicine for yourself. You can't go to no hospital because I don't want my credit burnt. You're trying to keep a good credit rating? Yes. Other than food stamps, you got no help from the, the government here? No. Uh, what are you going to do for the rest of the day and tomorrow? Uh, are you going to look, look for more jobs or are you going to hang out or what? Uh, well, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I have to go to the food stamp office tomorrow to get my food stamps reset for another six months, and then I'm gonna go Friday morning and try to get back on the garbage truck. Try to. <laughs> I hope. <laughs> How do you get to the street as, as, a, as a place to live? That's the ultimate question. How does that happen? Oh, financial trouble. That's what got me here. Financial trouble. Yes, I couldn't pay the rent. I was by myself swinging almost a 500 and some dollar rent. <coughs> and besides that, and gas and car maintenance, I couldn't do it, not by myself. So you, you couldn't get a job that would pay you enough money to maintain your right. paying lifestyle. Right. And then uh, you hit the street in Marietta. Yes, I stayed on the street up there about four years. Then I started traveling around. I went to Kentucky, Tennessee, here, Gainesville. I've been down in Wesley Chapel, Florida. I didn't like it. <laughs> you didn't like it. So you like St. Augustine? Yeah. Of all the places you've been? Yeah, that's true. I like it because it's little. So really, there's, you're, you're, just, you're not getting the minimal support that you need in order to just uh, get out of this cycle or this circle here. Right. To break a cycle, you gotta have a place, you know, and you gotta have a vehicle. And then I could, I could work then, you know, every day. But how, yeah, how do you get from here to there is the question. Ooh, that's... That's a tough bridge to cross, sir. <laughs> it's a tough bridge to cross. What about your family? You, you got family? Yeah, I have family, but it wouldn't work. Uh, Y'all not speaking? No. Uh-uh. How come? Uh, me and family don't get along real well.
you know, they don't, they don't like you. Ooh. Is there a reason for that? Yeah, there's a reason for it, but it's it's more of their fault than it is mine. And they think it's more your fault than it is theirs. Yes, exactly. Because that's how we do it in America. We use family to get over these little uh, humps. And when you when you cut yourself off from a family, you find yourself in this position. Uh, not really. I I was living by myself for for about eight years by myself. Without without any problem. Right. Yeah, I'm still having a hard time understanding how you get here from there. You just get into financial trouble and you can't make the rent. The landlord comes and kicks you out and changes the locks. Right. But you still had the job. Uh, not up there, no. Okay, so you, you the, the, it starts with lack of job. Yes. And goes from there. Yep, lack of transportation, lack of place to stay. <laughs> Yeah. Exactly. And then once you're in that position, it's hard to get out of it. Yes, it is. You get in a cycle because everything's free. Right. You know, you free shower, free food. You know, some people just get in a cycle and they never break it. In the free cycle, yes. as it were. Did I do good? Yeah, yeah that was pretty good. Uh, your next person will be either, either him or... Him there? John Lynch. John Lynch has been on the street forever. All right. He's a pro at this? 